Hey everybody, I am Daniel J. O'Brien, and I'm your friendly neighborhood illustrator, author, and all-around storyteller. And I'm so excited to be here today, because I get to share with you my latest book, I Am the Midnight Robber. So, because this book takes place in Trinidad during carnival season, a time of year when we all get to dress up and party and parade through the streets, I figured why not get dressed up myself while I read you the story. So. Here we go! Daniel O Studios and the Basement Monster presents I am the Midnight Robber Written and illustrated by myself, Daniel J. O'Brien I'm the Midnight Robber, the Twilight's master and lord. This little reveler demands respect and won't be ignored. I'm rough and tough like leather, and dresses ain't never been my thing. If bullies want to poke fun at that, then brace for the verbal arrows I go sling. What, you saying? You never heard of me and all my wicked acts? Well, this griot go tell you a story, and it starts with... Crick, crack. Long ago, there was another robber, whose reign of terror was only runner up to mine. Boy was so bold-faced that he swiped a ladder just to climb up and steal the sunshine. Same time, there was the most beautiful Dame Lorraine, who in a twist stole the robber's heart. From that day forward, the two masqueraders vowed that they would never, ever part. On the next Carnival Monday, wedding bells rang and the devoted couple became bride and groom. A year later, Miss Dame Lorraine was heard saying, We may have to bid farewell to this road real soon. The happy couple gave birth to me, the cutest baby girl. And in that instant, yours truly became the masquerader's world. But that didn't stop the revelers from enjoying each carnival season. You bet we never miss a jump up and played mass in each and every region. They named me after the sweet sugar cane, but I bit like a barracuda. I was rough and tough like leather, which I couldn't find a doodoo any cuter. When daddy was not looking, I would steal the robber's mask. I would blow my little whistle and take all my enemies to task. Mommy would try to fit me with cute frills, pretty bows, and little top hats. But Miss Dame Lorraine soon realized that I, little Miss Sugar Cane, would be having none of that. Instead I reached for whistles. Boy skulls and black hats on most days. Mama Dad couldn't help but think, hmm, this must be some sort of phase. But of course it wasn't, and they soon realized that they didn't fully understand their little girl. But even though they sometimes struggled, they never stopped trying to see my world. With love and time, they understood that me dressing a robber's guise was no big thing. And with that thought in mind, they look forward to what all future carnival seasons may bring. But bullies became constant. They prodded and they pricked. There were many days where I felt so mashed up and kicked. But my parents had me back through every bother and brawl. Both with a hand on my shoulder, guided me through it all. They told the little Miss Sugar Cane, not to bother with all those people. They empowered me to be myself and know that I had no equal. They would say, our little girl is sweet like Sugar Cane, but rough and tough like leather. And in no way it's your fault that all them muckos refuse to get you.
They help me create costumes and perfect the robber's rhyme. I learn to steal the hearts of millions, one verse and line at a time. My legend grew each month and year as I masqueraded through the streets. I promised myself I would not stop until the whole world knew me feats. I climbed to the top of the hill, crushing all contenders along the way. And your best believe is on top of this hill, I stand to this very day. Hope you pay attention. My vest, my hair, my cape and soul is black like pitch lake. And my rhymes are so yummy, I think they be shock and big. Ha <laughs> ha! You know I'm kidding. I know it's bacon shark. I've been schooled in my culture and I ain't get no low marks. With my support by my side, I keep taking all you to class. While you're playing sandboxes, best believe I playing in mass. I will blow my whistle one more time, asking, do all you really hear me? For I am the midnight robber, public enemy number one. Two, I'm three. <laughs> the end. Until next time. Well, there you go. I really hope you guys enjoyed this presentation of I'm the Midnight Robber. And I really, really loved sharing a little bit of my Trinidadian culture with you all. Until next time. Wait a second. What's going on here? Let's try this one more time, shall we? There we go. Thank you so much. I'll see you guys later. Peace.